What's up, Cal Gang? We're back here with the dirty whiteboard, and uh, so we got some tugboats, and they're pulling on a, a disabled super tanker. So let me let me draw this problem out first. Do a little force body diagram. Okay, so let's let's go through every part that we have. So we have both of them pulling a constant force, 14 degrees north or 14 degrees west and east of north. So here's north, right? Uh, so here's 14 degrees. Here's 14 degrees. So this is 14, 14. I wrote 15 for some reason. 14 degrees, 14 degrees, and both of them pull at a rate of 1.80 times 10 to the four, 10 to the six. Okay, so both of them do that basically. Uh, and then what is it saying? And they pull 0 0.75 kilometers. That's 750 meters. We want it in meters, not kilometers. And how much how much work do they do on the super tanker? So to do this, basically, we can break it into two. Uh, because they're both 14 degrees, it's gonna be pretty similar. So let's go ahead and write out our formula. So we know that work is equal to force times distance times cosine of theta. Okay, so we know that the distance is 750. We know that the cosine of theta is, we need to find what the work or the force is. We have to know what the force is, so we can kind of do all of this. So let's, let's just stick it into one, or let's do one part at a time. So 1.80, times 10 to the sixth is the force. The distance is 750. And this one is at an angle of cosine of positive 14 degrees. So that's work of A. And then work of B is equal to 1.80 times 10 to the sixth. Same thing, it goes the same distance. And then this is gonna be cosine of negative 14. But there's a thing we know about cosine. Uh, you can always check this with your calculator. But cosine of a positive number, so like cosine of positive one is equal to cosine of negative one. So basically, this cosine of negative 14 is the same as cosine of 14. It doesn't make a difference if that negative is there or not. So you can actually, uh, you can see that these are basically the exact same equation. So you can say that the, the total work done by both of them is equal to just two times it because you're gonna be adding this to this. That's gonna be the sum of the work that's gonna get you the total work. So it's going to be 2 times all of this, so it's going to be 1.8, 0 times 10 to the 6th. You can also just add them together or whatever. So 50 cosine of 14. Uh, and then this equation right here is how you're going to get your final 1, which is going to be equal to, uh, you guys can play this in by yourself, right? Uh, this is going to be equal to 2.6 times 10 to the 9 joules. Perfect. I'm going to plug this into my calculator because I'm not confident, but I'm pretty sure I'm confident. <laughs> 1.80 times 10 to the 6th, 750 cosine of 14. Uh, yeah, that looks right to me. Uh, yep, yeah, that's right to me. All right, so that's how you do these kind of problems. Uh, basically, you just got to learn how to use this formula correctly, and uh, yeah, you'll be chilling. So good luck on your physics homework, guys.